What's going on, beautiful people? It's your boy, C-Dub, a.k.a. Critwit, bringing another commentary at you guys. And this is my first 2019 donut ride, and we are about to get it in. So right now, as you see, we're going through a light there in Imperial Beach, California. We are currently on the 75 going north, and you see right off the bat, Jeffrey wastes no time coming out the saddle, heading up the road, so therefore, I jump on Ryan Tello's wheel and we come up to a small little group of four or five roadies and we're just going to coast a little bit. Hey, I ask that you guys would go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're watching this and have yet to subscribe to the Critwit Roadrunner family. If you're watching this video and you do not have a YouTube account, I ask that you would pause it right here and go and set up your free account, come back and subscribe to the fam. Welcome to another video and let's get it in. So right now again, sitting on Ron Tello's wheel and looking at the rear camera, I have a couple of guys behind me. And right now you see we're going 27 miles an hour. Heartbeat is really, really good at 160 beats per minute. The silver strand here in Coronado is relatively flat. So not a lot of climbing going on here. So it makes for a easier ride, really uh, specific in assisting and letting you know where you are for any criterium style races. If you look over there to the right, that's some of the um, other roadies that do the uh, donut ride uh, put on by Crown City Cyclists. Um, and again, if you don't know what the donut ride is here in Coronado slash Imperial Beach, California, please check the video out to the top right and there is an interview at the end of that video letting you know a little bit of history about the donut rod what i call the cccdr so again sitting here on ron tiller's wheel just tucked in you see he's in the black panther uh pad yacht racing team kit i wore my jl velo kit as i am a brand ambassador for them sitting upon the moselle saddle uh as I am a brand ambassador also for Union Sport, riding that SCC Tech uh, bike, SCC Slick on the chain. So I'm just very well taken care of by my uh, sponsors, by the companies that I represent. So again, we're going uh, north on the Silver Strand. Again, going about 27 miles an hour. There's Misio right there with the red trek falling back. He just got through pulling. You see him in my rear camera right there. And we're coming up on a little parking area to the right, passing that, being very mindful of all the cones and different things going on. You see Jeffrey right there who attempted a uh, from the gun breakaway. He has been caught and now he's jumping on the back. So there's a little bit of a gap behind me but the uh, gentleman with the red uh, cycling jacket, he closed that down. There's Fast Freddy falling back now, and uh, we're just working a pace line. So who's up front right now is Perry, uh, which is followed by Ron Tello and then myself. So you see Perry's now pulling off to the right, and Ron now has the lead. I'm sitting on his wheel. We are going 30 miles an hour. Heart rate is still really well of 174, and... Uh, pushing just a, a little bit over 300 watts, keeping the uh, revolutions per minute at a little bit over 100. So now it's my turn to pull through, still holding 30 miles an hour. I think I'm gonna drop down a little bit because I'm not as strong as everybody else, but we pass a roading on the right and we're keeping it moving. So going 29 miles an hour and of course flip the elbow, get off the front, go recover, let the Peloton come and uh, take over so you can go rest. Right now, I fast forward it because there's going to be a whole lot of just uh, pace line rotation, not a lot happening. Uh, one thing that did happen was there's a little bit of a gap in front of me. And what I did was I had to come out the saddle to accelerate just to get back on Fast Freddy's wheel. So you see, I was rolling on Ron Tello's wheel, but now I'm on Fast Freddy's wheel and we're just rotating through. So now I'm up at the front again with Jeffrey on my wheel. And of course, I know he had a beautiful draft sitting behind me. So Ron Tello sitting on Jeffrey's wheel, um, Perry on Ron's wheel, 
and it, it just keeps rotating. You see back there in the rear view camera, you see Dave. He actually was in a, a crash, I believe, the end of 2018. Uh, maybe I think he had a broke rib and everything. So I, I missed pulling through, jump back on Ron's wheel just because he's a larger rider, uh, providing me more of a draft versus being on like Jeffrey's wheel. So I did that. So right now, just sitting there and we're rotating through, going through some lights. The lights are green, helping us out, which is amazing. And what these efforts do is they really help us uh, to get our fitness levels up. Um, and so pretty much as you're watching this and listening to me talk, uh, just give you some information as to why we do these type of rides and this type of training. So these rides are really different from actual criterium or criterium racing um, because the heat is on the entire time. Unlike in a crit, uh, you can rest and you can sit in the back and not do much work except for the people up front or then you may have people that may try to come over the top or underneath trying breakaways and different things like that and you have more of an opportunity to really get your rest. Well, in this particular ride, there's really, there really is no risk except for the time you have not pulling. Um, everybody here, kind of the rules of the road is we all get in the pace line, we all pull, and yeah, you can skip a pull every once in a while, but for the most part, we all, you know, especially if your fitness is up and you're able to, you pull through, you do your, your three, four, five second pull, and then you rotate off. Some guys do longer pulls, some guys are extremely strong, such as Larry Tonzo, uh, Juan, uh, the different guys are very, very strong riders, so they can pull for a lot longer. So you still see Dave back there in my rear view camera. And again, because, you know, he's, he's still recovering from a, an accident, from an injury. And so it's totally understandable as to why he would be back there. But during this ride, my legs were on fire. Um, they, they felt decent, but they were a little stiff and were a little bit on fire. Um, and it's just the way that it is. So, uh, but as you see here, we're still just rotating through. And I fast forward these portions just because, you know, it's boring sitting there watching us go around in circles doing the same thing. Nothing extravagant happened. So no need to, you know, keep it at normal speed, just boring you to death. But what's upcoming is this actually happened on the 9th of February. So uh, the 10th of February is the Roger Milliken uh, Memorial Criterium. And uh, one of our members, uh, Rocket Rocha, he's actually headed up to do the Cat 4-5 race that's going down at 4.10 p.m. And I'm actually going to go up there tomorrow to uh, get some footage of him, to support him in his efforts. So please look for that video um, for a different perspective of being um, at a race. You know, usually when I go to races, I'm participating but this one specifically I'm going to support. So you see right here, I slowed uh, it back down to the normal speed. And the reason being is because we're miles per hour is 31 and we're actually coming here up here on NAB, which is Naval Amphibious Base Coronado. Um, and what happens is, is of course, you know, the pace is up and everybody's hunkered down and getting it in. We got Ron there, we got Jeffrey to my right. Uh, we got uh, Misia right in front of me. And so we're all just punching through, we're pushing and we're still rotating through. Um, but the reason why I slowed it down here was because uh, our pace was really up. And then of course it slows down as we're coming up to these intersections because these lights are our friends, dot, 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 sometimes. So right here you see I'm actually getting a green light, which is awesome. And Perry is pulling through with Freddie on his wheel. And then you have uh, Julius on Freddie's wheel. You have Jeffrey, you got Ron, and then you have Misia right there. And that's kind of the rotation that we're doing. So this next light that we come up on, guess what happens? Nothing bad, it just turns red. And what happens is when these lights turn red, they really kill our mojo, they kill our momentum, and we have to slow down. And sometimes, you know, it, it kind of hurts at times because you have all this blood pumping and everything is coming to a slow halt. But this light doesn't stay red too long, um, but yet long enough to where we're able to kind of put a foot down and maybe even get a swig of water um, if we get an opportunity. As you see, Jules right there getting a little bit of water, but the light's green. So time to go again. And another blessed thing with the light going um, 
the light going green or going red is it allows you to kind of resituate yourself if you're going to get on somebody else's wheel, if you're going to try to go for a breakaway, go for an attack, uh, the light does offer that opportunity. So right now I'm sitting on Jules's wheel, but I'm moving over, gonna jump, I was gonna jump on Jeffrey's wheel, um, but P P uh, Perry was right there. So I just went ahead and jumped on Perry's wheel. And as you see, I fast forward again because nothing uh, spectacular happened here. We're just working our way further north on the Strand, getting ready to merge off of the Strand onto, I believe it's Orange Avenue or Orange Boulevard here in uh, downtown Coronado. And this area is really, really beautiful. A lot of uh, condo apartments on the left, uh, a little rec center on the right, right there. And so we're just working our way up. You got Hotel Dale, just 12 o'clock up there with the red roof. You can probably hardly see it, but that's Hotel Dale Coronado. And so uh, now we're about to merge off of the Strand onto Orange Avenue or Boulevard. I can't remember exactly what it is. But right now we're working in. I'm about to slow it down again because we are approaching the area where it gets kind of interesting. So right now you see going up the road, as I slow it down right there, you see Perry, who is one of the newest members of Pat Doc Racing Team. And he's currently a Cat 5, but he, but Ron, right in front of me in the Black uh, Black Panther kit, the Black PRT kit, he told Perry to go. And he meant to just go to the front and pull, but Perry, he went, you know, he went balls to the wall. He went in and he put down some power, put down an effort, and as you see right there, he is broken away. And so you got uh, Miciel up front, you got Jeffrey on his wheel, and nobody's really making an effort to, to shut this down and I was trying to keep my eye on him and just keep pedaling and what happened? I roll off the front. It wasn't my intention to be up front knowing that we got the sprint coming up, but I end up up front and it's like, oh man, we're not going that fast, going 25 miles an hour. My heartbeat is 176. I'm doing about 85 revolutions per minute, putting down a little bit over 450 watts. So I am pushing there. Um, and of course the watts are gonna fluctuate. And so the gap is getting closed a little bit, but not as fast as I probably would like it, as well as nobody is pulling through. Look at the rear view camera. Everybody is sitting back there. You got Misia, you got Jeffrey, you got Freddie, you got Ron, you got Dave back there. Everybody is sitting back there. I'm like, oh my God, I'm dying up here. Heart rate's at 180 now, which is getting close to my threshold, you know, of when I do start really, really feeling it. Um, and yes, my max heart rate is 199, but my God, my intention as a sprinter is not to be up front right here. And this was not my intention. So nobody was making a move until now. Jeffrey goes for it. So he goes to sprinting and I come out the saddle sprinting, hit over 900 watts. But then this casual rider right there, he totally threw me out of, out of my sink. Like I was looking up for Jeffrey. Jeffrey was looking back. I called it. And after that, it just kind of took me out of my momentum, took me out of my zone. And so I just kind of set up and roll through and just kind of pro progress my way on to the end. And like I said in the other video, got probably ninth place. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. On to the next one with your boy Seat Up, AKA Crit Wit. Peace.